Hi, my Jazzy crew. Hey, my Jazzy crew. Hey, my Jazzy crew. Hey, my Jazzy crew. Hey, my Jazzy crew. How's everybody doing today? Yo, girl, it's doing amazing. Yes, y'all, your girl is doing amazing as always, y'all. And you know why? That's because God woke up this morning and they, God let me see another beautiful day. So listen, y'all, y'all see something a little bit different. I know y'all probably like, where's the boo? <laughs> I tricked you. No food today. So today is the challenge day. Well, the challenge day for me. I haven't seen anyone else do it yet, but Miss Eating Good. I haven't seen her yet, though, but I did see that she just posted it on there. So, y'all, today is it's a challenge. And the challenge is for you guys to be able to sit in front of your camera with no food. But you can have anything you want to drink, but you cannot have any food. And you have to sit in here and tell your story for 30 minutes, y'all. That's all you have to do. And... With that challenge, it's a giveaway with the challenge. And I have challenged the five fabulous women. Also, I have challenged hood play. And now, the five fabulous women has to challenge at least one person to do this challenge as well. And then other people, if they see it, they want to do it, welcome and do it as well. So, with me... First, let me give a shout out to the five fabulous women. That's Miss Eating Good, that hood girl too, kicking it with Lynn, and this is Veggie's World. And again, no other, you got no other than your girl, Jazzy V. And y'all, I have no food, none whatsoever at all. And I actually don't even have anything to drink, okay? Y'all, also, let me give a shout out to uh, Cook You With Your Girl, Judy Cobwell. Y'all, go check her out as well. Go check her play out as well, you guys. And listen, this is going to be an amazing challenge. And I just cannot wait to hear the other women. Now, when you tell your story... And if you cry and break down, let it out. It's okay. That's what it's all about. For me, I've told this story. And then that's another thing. When A lot of people, you have new subscribers. And some of these new, new subscribers don't know truly about you or haven't heard your story. And so I know they probably heard part of it, but they haven't heard, you know, some or whatever. So here's the time for your new subscribers. They can get a chance to hear your story again. And like I said, I have told mine before. So I'm just going to start out by telling mine when I was with um, my boyfriend who was that got killed, just passed away. And I'm just going to go into a little bit of that. And yeah, so now back when I was 20 years old, uh, I had moved into my little studio. And when I was living in my studio, I had got me a job at McDonald's. So I was working at McDonald's, and it was a guy that was working there with me, and I don't have to mention his name at all. So anyway, uh, he was working there too. And so, you know, every day we see each other, we're talking, we giggling, he's flirting and all that good stuff. So it got to the point where we started going outside, smoking weed, getting high together. Then, you know, like the days is he off and I'm working, he would come through the drive through. You know, eventually he just started. So then got to where we're now, he was over to my apartment all the time, every day or whatever. And so at this time, I didn't know the type of person or the type of guy that he was at the time. But when we met, I just thought he was the best thing ever. But I think after like that third month of that relationship or whatever, or that six months went by, that's when Haywire all had came out. And then it was too late for me to vacate, okay? And so one day, it started out one day in my studio. And my sister had lived, we lived in the same complex uh, apartment complex for like two apartments down from each other and so one particular is this girl that she stayed upstairs from me and her and her and my sisters were friends and I was okay with it too you know and so one day I can't remember exactly what happened but I know that my boyfriend he had went upstairs to her apartment and I don't know exactly what was what for I actually totally forgot but anyway so that's neither here or there. So I go up there to see. I'm like, well, you know, I go up there to see what's going on and why he's up there for so long. And so when I go up there, he coming out and she's at the door in her little robe and stuff. 
a, a see-through robe, so she had nothing on up under there. So I was like, hmm, really? So get back downstairs, so I'm arguing, fussing about it, so get his, you know, he gone and go or whatever. Well, this is the first time he started out putting his hands on me, and at this time he didn't put his hands on me, he choked me. So he choked me and, and put his hands around my mouth, but eventually he had let me go, and at that time I was 20 years old, so I was like, whatever, so I told my sister about it, but she didn't say nothing, so I was like, whatever. So anyway, long story short, on that part, we were still together, whatever, so... I had lost my little apartment, so I was staying with him and his sister, and he was really abused. I'm talking about y'all. He just started being really abusive to me, started, you know, slapping me, stealing on me, started doing all of the sorts of crazy stuff. But then to come to find out, I didn't know he was a murderer either at the time. But his sister was throwing hints at me and talking about she was letting me know how what type of person that he really was. But like she said, it was too late. It was actually, it was too, too late for me to get out of that relationship. So anyway, um, one particular day, I did try to leave. And when I tried to leave, he came to my mom's house and he had his gun and my stepfather had his. And so I knew right then, okay, this ain't good. So I had to leave on out. But anyway, I know it was times where... He one time he had choked me in front of my niece and nephew. One time living over uh, in my sister's house on college, whatever in Kansas City, Missouri. And so one particular day, um, he thought I was messing around with somebody at the time or whatever. I don't know, but he had came, honey. And when I tell you this man choked me and off my feet, pulled choked me from off my, I couldn't breathe. I'm telling you, I boo-booed it and peed on myself in front of my niece and nephew. And it was so sad at that time. But I tell you this man took me through the ringer and then we started living in hotels and stuff and so he started selling dope or whatever but he started selling started out selling uh bad dope and then he had me out there selling it to where almost a mexican almost killed me I almost got killed behind that or whatever so anyway when we was living in hotels i don't seen this man kill two people okay in front of me and he got away with each murder okay and I tell you, he got away with each murder he did. So anyway, but I'm getting all twisted around here because now I'm starting to get nervous of telling this story. But it's like, oh, my God, because I done went all around the world and all around the bush. But first, just let me tell you back. So we were together for five years, y'all. And I just want to say that he's dead now. And he got killed March the 4th of 2000. And he got shot up and he got pistol up. And y'all, just let me tell this part of the story. So, because now, at first it took me a minute to talk about it, but it still seems like it's taking me a little issue to talk about it now, right? So, anyway, uh, why you get off the game? What's wrong? What happened? Are y'all done? Y'all taking a break? Oh, you just got off? Oh. Huh? Oh. So, y'all, so anyway, um... So, yeah, so March the 4th of 2000, he got killed, y'all. But let me talk about the part, see, when, when he got killed, uh, how uh, the issue uh, when he got killed, the blame, instead of them blaming the right person, they had blamed me of his killing. And so let me talk about that part. So uh, let's see how I want to start that out. Maybe I shouldn't have did this one today. I should have waited. Why is you all in my stuff over there? Oh, my so anyway, y'all, let me talk about that part. So when my when he had got killed, they say when my husband got killed, y'all. What? What was this? <laughs> when the guy got killed, y'all. <laughs> I failed on my own challenge, y'all. No, I didn't. So anyway, y'all, I just got nervous. I think because I don't like to talk about it when I'm around people, I guess. And the fact that my husband is right here, and oh, I think I, I done got know. nervous or whatever for some apparent reason. Oh, I don't I know why. I'm going to put my earphone back on. So it's not that, but. Oh, stop it. So anyway, y'all, so let me talk about that part. So when he got killed, they blame me. And let me tell you why they blame me. And then you guys, y'all could if y'all feel that way as well too, y'all comment down below and let me let me know. So this is what happened. So my ex-boyfriend, the one that's dead, he had went to jail, okay? 
So he ended up going to jail. When he did time in jail, I was left with the car, with the pager, with my pager and, and the dope, okay? So I started selling dope. And so I was trying to, you know, keep selling dope so that way when he got out of jail, he had some money. Well, where I grew up at, you know, I grew up in Kansas City, Missouri on 37th and College, okay? And so his sister ended up moving over there. So, of course, I see all the people that I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? And so one particular guy that they had got into it with, I had ended up having five years. Now, me and my boyfriend that's dead, we was together for five years, okay? So prior before we had got together, I had messed with other people, okay? I had other guys before I got with him. So anyway, I used to mess with this guy, and the only thing we was doing was just having sex. We never was together. He was never my boyfriend, none of that. So one particular, you know, this guy, he had got shot up all in the face and stuff, and we wasn't together, you know? And so I had ended up giving him... See, and now you want to stand right here and be all in my face. I just came out. I just came and out And looked at me. And then you're going to look directly at me. Oh, so you can bad, just listen bad. in my face. Yeah, like I just stopped and paused. So anyway, y'all. So, uh, so when he went to jail, long story short. So when he went to jail, uh. I had gave the dude my page number so he could page me whenever someone needed something. I told him to page me so, you know, I can get that serve or whatever. Well, when my boyfriend got out of jail, I didn't know that the police had took his page. So when he got out, he took my page. So the dude was paging me and I didn't know that my boyfriend and the dude was, you know, going back and forth on, you know, talking, whatever. So my boyfriend told me that when he went to jail, that me, the dude told him that we was having sex. And so one particular day we had seen him and he said, there you go right there. Watch, I'm going to tell you what it says. So he pulled over. Now my boyfriend at the time, he always rode with his gun in his lap. So when he pulled up on the dude, he had his gun in his lap. So now the dude is scared because this guy had been shot up, you know, so many times. So he got, he was fear of the gun. So by this time, you know, we're talking whatever. So he was going around in the neighborhood talking about my boyfriend had pulled a gun on him directly, but he didn't. He just had the gun in his lap. So now he was going around talking about he going to kill him, this and that. So long story short, you know, uh, my boyfriend went and bought me a 300 ZX, right? So when he pulled up in the car, I got in there. I was like, we was just supposed to ride around the corner. Well, he ended up riding around at the, on the dude's block, and he kept riding around, you know, scoping. They scoping each other. So at the particular time, what happened was is that the dudes was out there and they get wet, okay? And they was out there playing dominoes and I seen it. I seen all this great happen. I seen the whole incident, how, you know, I seen it coming. And so because the new car we got, we rolled in and we go up his street. Now, the car didn't have no uh, no side mirrors or no review, so we couldn't see behind it up there. But I felt that it was a car in front of us and it was an ice cream in truck in front of that one. So which stopped us to where we couldn't continue to get off the block so by this time the dude come running up and i seen him i was like oh man here he comes so he pulled up he came up and he's like i heard you was looking for me and pop pop and that first bullet that went through his neck i turned and it glazed me in the arm but that first bullet had killed him immediately and so it, the, when he tried to pull off i guess he tried to pull off in the car went and reversed and somehow went reversed and backed up into the dude, across the dude from the dude's house up to somebody's yard. And so the dude shot him up eight times, nine times, went back in his house and reloaded the gun up and came back and shot him up nine more times. And so the family tried to make it seem like um, it was all my fault. Like, you know, like I set it up and all that. And I'm thinking like, why wouldn't this man beat me for five years? And if you think I'm going to take five, wait after five years to set him up to get killed, I would have did that way before, you know. But I lived in fear, honey. Truly. I truly lived in fear that I did. How, how much more time I got? Oh, Lord. I still got a long time, y'all, to talk about my life story, right? Because <laughs> I done went all around the bush with it. Sure, because I actually, I'm trying not to even think about it no more and talk about it. I try to ex a whole lot of stuff out of my mind of my life, you know? Uh, we're going to our next, another chapter. Huh? We're going to another chapter. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I can go into the chapter where after, I, after my life, has, after I done been through hell, of my life, 
Let's talk about how my life has turned around as of today, that I am a totally different. I'm talking, yeah, I used to be on drugs too. Let's talk about that. I used to be on drugs. I used to be on crack. I used to be on wet. I used to snort coke. You know what I'm saying? I used to do all that. I did time in prison. I used to steal. I used to be a booster. St have stolen so many TVs for so many years. And then hey, I used to load up baskets and then just run out. You know what I'm saying? So I I've been through a lot in my life. And I, I'm I think you guys need to go back to my very first video. And then just play it. And keep going and you can hear more and more about my story. And about my life. But I was also on crack, and I and that was the thing. My boyfriend, that's dead now. The guy I was with is dead now. Was the one uh, who started me out on on smoking crack. But now I've been clean from crack crack since uh, February the sixteenth, or no, February the twenty eighth of two thousand and sixteen. Uh, I've been clean from crack, cocaine, and wet, and all that. That hard dope. Now, do I still smoke weed? Yes, I sure do. <laughs> and I do drink a little bit here and there, but I do drink beer. But I drink liquor here and there, whatever, special occasions, you know. And then I met my love. My number one, y'all. <laughs> I met my heart, my soul, made my best friend. I met all that back in 2002. And we're still together. And we are going on our third year of marriage, August the 19th. It will be our anniversary, and we are having a get-together. We're going to throw us a little anniversary party. Yes. So, um, hmm. Let's see here. Who? um... I'm going to have to do this. So I'm going to have to redo my own challenge. But, you know, I just hope the other ladies do it. Again, let me give a shout out to you. Because y'all, I, I failed on my own challenge. But still, it's okay. I couldn't go 30 minutes like I thought I could. So this is a challenge, y'all, because you know what? Listen, it probably would have been much better if that's why I said I'm glad I did the challenge to say with no food. Because maybe if you'll be eating and stuff like that, you can be not talked about a whole lot of stuff about your life story. Because I did that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're eating and then you got, oh, man. So, but anyway, that's okay to see where I'm at. 17 minutes. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Let me talk about, what else I talk about, babe? Um, don't you, <laughs> what else can I talk about, sweetie? Well, you ain't got nothing else to talk about in your life? It's like I don't got, my, it's like my mind just went, see, but you know what, I know what happened. And it seemed like my mind just went blank on everything. Yeah, my mind went blank. Just like that. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to have to redo my challenge again. But y'all listen. I failed my own challenge, y'all. Wow, wow, wow. It's a hard, this is a hard challenge to do. This was, it really shouldn't have been hard, actually. Okay? Literally, it shouldn't have been hard. And I think I made it hard on my own self. I don't know. But in T who, with that being said, Hmm, huh. I can't just give up on my challenge like this. Um, so this, let me talk about when I met this man right here. No, I don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I just don't want to go back down memory lane like I thought I wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, 
And even though my ex-boyfriend is dead now, even though he did take me through the ringer, he took me through hell and hot water, and I had a whole book to talk about with him, but I've already told him. I think that's the thing. I think it was hard for me to retell it again. So, but anyway, y'all, that's all right. Let's see, where did I go? There's 20 minutes of it. All right, so with that being said, y'all, again, like, comment, and subscribe to your girl, Jazzy V. Go check out the Five Fabulous Women. That's eating good. Eating good. <laughs> it ain't my mind just went playing eating good, kicking it with Lynn. That hood girl, too, in this veggies world. And again, your girl, Jazzy V. Y'all, she failed her own challenge. But that's okay, because I'm ready to go over to see what all the other ladies have done so I can go ahead and start Thinking about how I'm going to do this giveaway for that challenge that is about to go down, y'all. And then don't forget, y'all, to go on over there and check them out and watch them. And if you want to join this challenge, then come on and let's get it. You are welcome to join. And with that being said, peace, love, and happiness.